All right, what's going on, everybody? My name is Josh Polcock, founder and CEO of Executive Stride. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to turn on those post notifications because we upload valuable content like this every single day. All right, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to use two tools that you may have heard of Neuron Writer and Word Hero. All right, so I have made a full in-depth guide breakdown on neuron writer and i posted it on my youtube channel and you know thank you for those who uh you know liked it commented whatever the case may be but if you want to learn a full in-depth breakdown on neuron writer and see what my review is um then i'll leave a link to that in the description below to that full in-depth guide there's timestamps and everything so if you're new to neuron writer you can watch that video as well as this one and you can kind of get acquainted with the software and kind of get a roadmap of how you want to use it. Now, last night I made a, I don't want to say impulse buy, but I really just, you know, was looking at this tool and I just pulled the trigger. It is a tool called Word Hero. So yesterday you may have seen, or I believe, yeah, it was yesterday. I posted a video on how to use Neuron Writer mixed with a tool called Niches. Today, we're going to look at how to use Neuron Writer mixed with Word Hero because Word Hero is just a great tool from what I can see so far, and it is still available on AppSumo for 89 bucks. So you can scoop that. And uh, they have unlimited features for the long form editor if you stack an additional code. So I stacked two codes. I wanted a long form editor and I really do like the long form uh, editor's interface. So I'll make a full in-depth guide and review on word hero in uh, one of my future videos coming up but for now let's get right into it so i'll dive into my neuro hero neuron writer dashboard here and i'm going to click on create new query now we're going to create a query that is called let's say for example how to rank number one in google 2020 obviously this is a highly competitive keyword most likely so you would actually want to if you're trying to rank a google keyword you would want to use a keyword research tool and i'm going to i know a lot of uh, people have been asking in different facebook groups and whatnot and messaging me in the dms asking what keyword research tool should you use of course there's tools like ahrefs semrush etc but i'm going to make a few videos breaking down a few tools that i use in depth um, to actually go about doing certain keyword research. So stay on the lookout for that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like that. Now, let's just use this one, for example. Now, typically when you're doing a query or a keyword research, the, the kind of rule of thumb is you want to have a keyword that is maybe long tail and low competition, but high volume, high traffic. That means you could get it to rank. All right. You're basically creating content pillars. So let's just start this. Now, if you're not familiar with Neuron Writer and creating queries and all this stuff, I definitely recommend checking out my full in-depth guide where I cover all this stuff. But let's just wait here while you can see Neuron, uh, Neuron Writer is actually analyzing everything uh, for this query on Google. All right. And you can see the action stats here. If I want to go to my columns, I can toggle certain things like CPC, volume per trend or volume trend, volume, paid comp, CPC. So there's a lot of different tool uh, toggles and whatnot. Neuron Writer is really just a great tool. And like I said, I did make an in-depth guide on it. So I would suggest checking that out if you want to know more stuff about Neuron Writer. So how to rank number one in Google uh, 2022. So let's click on that. And now we're going to be selecting our competitors. All right. So basically, I just go about removing any competitors that would be things like Quora or Pinterest or YouTube. I only want blogs. Right. So you can see the top 30 list here. So let's just select a few other ones. Uh, sometimes I just do check all and then I'll remove the ones I don't like. So. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Quora, we don't want Quora in here. You can also see the word count here, which can help you out. So 25, I'll just remove that. And let's see, backlink go, Udemy, we don't want Udemy. Okay. And I think that looks pretty good. So now that we got the competitors, now typically I would spend maybe a bit more time. Let me just remove this one as well. 
Um, I'm going to click update competitors. Now this it definitely isn't perfect. I would spend a bit more time just making sure everything's correct and removing them all. Now, now that we got this, I'm going to click create article draft. Once I click create article draft, I would go about, typically I would toggle H3s as well because you, H3s I tend to find are a lot of the step-by-step -step practical advice for that blog. The H2s sometimes are that as well. So you can go about basically just adding a lot of these headers to your blog and you're basically creating a blog structure. So I would actually spend time and go through this whole entire thing all right, as you can see, there's 488 care, uh, headers and they also pulled 43 questions from Google. People asking that, those intent-based questions about that. So these are people already searching for those things. So you can create those headers and structure a blog that way. You can see improve your on-site SEO number one, add LSI keywords to your page, monitor your technical SEO, match your content to search intent, find even more keywords to target. So, you know, I would spend maybe five to 10 minutes actually just going through this list and building a good structure. And I would typically remove a lot of the stuff afterwards, but it's good to have more than you need sometimes. And a lot of it may be repetitive, but you can easily just delete things by clicking this X. And you can also reorder things in the draft, right? But let's just say, for example, all right, that I like, you know, I'll add a few more. Let me delete that. Let me just add these 10 right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, this is definitely not perfect, but like I said, I would actually take time and go about doing this, all right? You can see that it is pulling some uh, irrelevant content as well, such as things like subscribe, share this, whatever. So you can just skip past all that. But I would get something like this. All right, check your sites out. That, that seems about good just for the sake of this video. We're just doing a demo here, a lot a bit more. And now I would just do copy draft to editor, boom. Now we got a rough, rough, rough outline, right? Obviously, I would go through, reorganize things, structure everything, intro, conclusion, the step-by-step, etc. But let's, for the sake of this video, go control A and then control C. And let's test out the power of this tool, Word Hero, all right? So like I said, I'm going to be making an in-depth breakdown of Word Hero. So stay on the lookout for that. If you're watching this in the future and I already made that video, then you can also check the description and maybe the video will also be linked there already. But uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want more videos like this and reviews and breakdowns. But let's see, we have a bunch of different short form options for creating content. We're actually going to go to the long form editor, which I would suggest typically if you're getting this tool. Yes, it's an extra 89 bucks, but if you're looking to use this tool long term, and create a bunch of content with it, which you can, you do get unlimited long form editing, which is a great feature because a lot of other tools on the market will charge you a high premium monthly fee for something like this. And I really like the intuitive writer. So we're actually gonna try the V2 beta, right? Editor, which I like, they both do the same thing, but we'll just show you the new updated one because by the time of this, they'll probably just fully roll it out. So now I got, all that structure of the headlines that I got from NeuronWriter based on doing the competitor research, I now got that into Word Hero, okay? So let's actually just go here to the title and what I'll do is I'll copy this title here and I'm going to paste the title here, how to rank, okay? Number one in Google, boom. All right, so we got the, the header, we got the or sorry, we got the title, we got the headers. Now, let's just check this out. So what you will do is you will highlight the headers, which we're going to do. You would highlight each one and you'll see here that we have blog paragraphs. So, so first off, we have the standard bold, italicized, all this stuff that you would normally see in an editor. We have the writing tools where you can pull those up in case you want to leverage these within the long form editor. 
We have the keyword assistant, which is pretty cool. I haven't even used all this yet. So history, uh, we have, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, we have a new document here. We can open up documents. So let's go to here and you can also save your documents, right? Then we have advanced options and then the help tab. Okay. And then up here we have undo, redo, uh, copy contents to clipboard. We have blog outline. So generate an outline from title. So if you're just creating this without the neuron writer stuff, but we're going to be using really these two right here so this is the write more feature which is really cool write more after cursor or highlighted text 50 to 60 600 characters uh max i believe oh it looks back okay so five minimum 50 characters and then max 600 character look back so it's gonna look back at 600 characters of that topic to make sure it's relevant and then right pair so let's just get right into it you'll see what happens i don't need to explain it so let's highlight this and then click this rocket right there because we're about to take off once this blog ranks in google all right so boom you can see it's doing that beautiful interface where it just automatically looks like it's typing words for you using this ai tool so how long does seo take seo can be done uh it can be a long difficult process but it is possible to see results within a few months so there's a few things uh when i'm using this tool for some reason the headings always kind of mess up so i have to go backspace and then I have to change this to heading four because these are H2s and I don't even know how to use like a normal uh, thing. Oh, actually, you could probably. Oh, that's how you do it. That makes sense. OK, so all you you don't even have to. I, I was using H4s before, but now you can just boom unhighlight. Uh, so make sure there's no heading selected. That makes a lot more sense. OK, so boom. We got how long does SEO take to achieve? So I would actually read through all this stuff afterwards, but let's just keep going. And I'm not going to do this whole entire thing because as you can see, we did pull a lot of different. Uh, oh, look at that. That's just beautiful right there. All right. We're currently running and you can see the nice word count up here. So we're currently, let's see how much we're at by the time this is done. 563 so we just added 100 keywords boom in about two seconds now how to rank okay let's try this now the great thing with word hero now is since we got that unlimited plan yes there's duplicated duplicated headlines and whatnot that you would normally have to worry about if you're you know managing your credit limit and this and that but since we have the unlimited plan we're able to kind of just use it and let let it run through all these headlines and then afterwards in the editing phase that's when i would actually spend time do, deleting duplicate content mer merging uh, points together adding my own two cents you know my old uh, strategy making sure everything flows adding a story in there whatever how depending on how optimized you want to make the blog post or the youtube bit you could use this for really any sort of content which is really really powerful now, as you can see, this is being created right here. We're already at 700 words, 800 words in just two seconds, or well, not two seconds, in about two minutes, okay? So let's click the rocket again. What is Black Hat SEO? Hmm, interesting. Let's see what we get. What is Black Hat SEO? Da -da 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 -da. Some techniques are considered white hat, meaning guns, but da -da -da. Black Hat SEO is a technique that range. Right, so always when you're working with ai you always have to keep in mind it, it depends on you are the one teaching the AI. you're not fully teaching the ai word hero obviously built certain frameworks and with it using gpt leveraging it but when you put an input in you have to be conscious of what input you're putting in for your desired output so your goal is to do get x result from the content so lots of times you can just easily just copy and plug and play but some things are more vague or some topics are more nuanced so you may have to do some actual uh changing to the headlines and adding like actual context before you actually run it right so i'm running it right now boom 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 so let's actually see how we can get every how long it takes to get up to about a 2000 word blog post which is a good standard number okay so boom got that where the most now i'm not actually spending time reading 
each specific point and structuring everything the exact way I want to and, you know, how I want to articulate certain points. But I would actually take the time and do so if I really wanted to get this to rank. But look at this. It's just writing it automatically. Um, and I would obviously read over everything, make sure everything makes sense, fact check, whatever. But the thing with Word Hero is it is actually a very... from. From my, I, I've, I have a few different tools. It is a very high quality AI output from what I can see you, compared to a lot of other tools on the market. It is very good. So it is one of those deals. What, by the time you're watching this, maybe in the future, the AppSumo deal may not be available, but they are rolling out new features. And I think it could potentially be a good investment even on the monthly plans, which I'll do a full breakdown on all this, like I said, on Word Hero in an additional video. So check the link in the description for that. Make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications. But other than that, um, if you're watching this now, it definitely is one of those deals I highly recommend on scooping up if this is something that you could benefit from writing this type of blog content. If you're already on NeuronWriter, uh, and I think it could be a good, basically a good tool to kind of complement each other. Now, in my NeuronWriter full breakdown like i said you can watch that as well i did mention that i think it would be good if they had some sort of integration with a tool like this because if you look at a tool like jasper ai you can see that they have some sort of integration with surfer surfer seo and it just kind of makes them a conjoint powerhouse so i think if neuron writer in the future could conjoin with uh or could integrate with a tool like this an ai writer neuron writer does have its own ai writer right you can do this and it may you know the good thing is you can add the creativity quality and you can add specific keywords so i still use it but the thing is it is limited depending on your plan right depending on how much you're using so if you're writing a lot of content you need something like word hero or you know word hero is kind of the the one in my opinion that's hot on the market right now that has a lifetime deal that is very high quality all right there's ones that come and go and then grow and then you know flourish afterwards but if you're watching this now and it's still available definitely pick it up if it's in the future it may definitely be look uh, uh, a tool that could be worth checking out even for the monthly plans like i said i'll make a full in-depth video um covering you know this stuff so you could probably check it out if you're watching it in the future this in the future so i'm just going to finish up a few more um so we can get things to a higher number and you can see it's probably been about five ten minutes maybe and we're just getting you know using neuron writers um you know structure blog structure and now we're conjoining it with word heroes ai with leveraging their all unlimited plan feature which is just making it kind of a powerhouse in and of itself even without a direct integration it's actually very very powerful so you can see we're at 1500 words and with a couple more we should be at 2000 so all right, so you can see here that I did spend a couple minutes right now just actually going about generating a couple more um, headlines right there. But you can see right after this one's done, we should break through 2,000 words. So this is a 2,000 word outline of a blog post. Now, it's not complete by any means. Um, I would actually spend some time editing through. I would also go through and do these ones as well. But you can see here, we already got 2,000 words in under 10 minutes, really, just by using Neuron Writer coupled with Word Hero, all right? Now, this manual task, it is very tedious, to be honest. This is not something I would personally do all myself. I don't have the time to do that. So for our clients at Str Executive Stride, we have what's called the Stride Suite, which is a conjoint amount of companies that we have that do different things one of them is stride staff where we place virtual assistants in the philippines for our clients for very very cheap and that allows uh, us as well as our clients to basically place a you know remote worker in the philippines to do this task they can do this task and you can just basically give them a query as well as 
you know what the topic's about they can literally just press a few buttons and spend a couple hours generating you content and then you can go through afterwards and manually review it edit it all that good stuff so if you want help in that regard and placing virtual assistants as well as uh, accelerating your business we don't just do reviews on these certain tools yes we use these tools and practice what we preach to leverage our uh, to grow our business but we have this is just like the tip of the iceberg the type of stuff that we do internally as well as teach our clients and and if you want access to some of that stuff first of all we have a free group called stride community where we show behind the scenes different templates resources frameworks that you can get access to for a hundred percent free and i would recommend you check that out it's stridecommunity.com all you do is opt in and you'll get access to our whatsapp group our telegram group our facebook group our discord channel we post content and we're growing a community of like-minded individuals and like-minded entrepreneurs business owners coaches consultants marketing agencies with that winner mentality with that winner mindset we don't settle for less we are our minimum standard is excellence and we strive for that every single day and if you want help with a completely fully built business accelerator machine that we uh, help our clients plug into basically fill their clients or fill their calendar on a day-to-day -day basis with hot warm qualified leads through methods like cold email prospecting paid advertising Facebook groups growth community building uh, content strategies all these things will help you fill your calendar with your course creator marketing agency b2b consultant whatever the case may be and we'll also show you how to hire and train a remote team of sales reps we'll show you how to hire and train and place a remote team of growth specialists that will grow your business where their full-time life purpose is to literally book appointments into your calendar basically making it virtually impossible for you not to succeed as long as you have product market fit which we also help you uh determine and that's the first thing that we help you do if you don't have product market fit we'll help you solve product market fit if you don't know what that is uh check out some of my other videos where i cover that but if you want any of that stuff then uh go to executivestride.com forward slash quiz where you can fill out a quiz and then apply to speak to either myself or someone from the team and we'll walk you through our a to z roadmap on how we grow businesses very very fast and accelerate your stride so other than that guys once i like i said i upload videos every single day on this channel so make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on the post notifications and stay on the lookout let me know in the comments down below if you want me to make videos on any other tools or covering any other tact topics uh and as always guys make sure to accelerate your stride and have a great day talk soon